When I first came to the yeshiva from a sift of the base Vajish, I was a little nervous. I thought it was going to be a very hard change. But when I walked in, the Baruch Hashem and the Baruch were amazing. The brain were amazing. Yes, I was nervous. You know, it's a big, it's a big step. You know, going from a sift to base Vajish, it's like a whole new part of life. And the fact that everybody was so relatable, everybody's just so open, actually eased the transition a lot. So I come from Chicago, um, so it was a whole new experience for me coming to Yeshiva out of town. Um, the the Rebbeim and Bakram were very welcoming. Everybody was so open and friendly. A yeshiva is not a physical building. A yeshiva is made up of people. People that believe in the goals of the yeshiva and people that believe in each other and people that learn to believe in themselves. When I came to take a higher yeshiva, one of the questions the yeshiva asked me is, first year of Yeshiva, what do you want to gain the most? So I told them I would like to start learning a little more Ba'in. Baruch Hashem with the help of the Rebbeim and the yeshiva. The yeshiva Shir has been amazing and it's helped tremendously. When I first came to yeshiva and I saw the third year Bachim, I wondered how they got there. But now I see the oil with the Seat Shmaya has gone. I even Zeicha to witness the growth of the Bachram, Bechlau Bafrat, for a number of years now, and it's really extraordinary. I feel, Vachshem, now that I have a much deeper appreciation of the Rishonim. When I woke into Beis Marish in the morning, there's a cult terror going on. Bachram learning with other Bachram, Bachram learning with the Kali in the light, Bachram learning with Rebbeim. But from learning by themselves. The Kaltair of the Beis Medrash is really something one has to experience to fully appreciate. Not only is it important for the Rosh Hashiva to teach us how to learn and, and how to love to learn, he also makes sure that we have fun during our vacation, like in first half, Pesach ben Azmanim, Sukkot ben Azmanim, Or Shabbosim. When I first walked outside of the Yeshiva building after my Fahir, I turned to my father and the first thing I said is, this is a happy place. If the Rebbeim see the good in the Talmidim, they see the good in each other. And if the Rebbeim exude the simcha they have to learn with the Talmidim, the Talmidim exude simcha to be with each other. So Shabbos and Chalet, haha. <laughs> Yeshiva goes away for weekends, like we went to the Chalet Hotel. And I really enjoyed being in a different, more relaxed atmosphere with the Yeshiva. The Ruach was in the air. There was a lot of dancing, there was a lot of singing, the Eilam was very into it. You can chapa shmis, you can go and walk, you can have a kumzitz, and it's just a nice matzav. We have a tremendous nachas from our kail. They are the crown of the yeshiva. Within the past two months, we added another three in Galait, and we hope to add a few more soon. These are homegrown Talmidei Yeshiva who came in as young Bachrim and stagged and keep on stagging. Yeshiva is a place I helped found, and to be part of the Kailu with the Chavirim that I started Yeshiva with is very special. Starting in the morning, learning with the younger Bachrim for about a half hour, to being involved with the post Eretz Yisrael and older Bachrim. And of course, the Shemaitz Haliba the Hilfasa that we just recently started adds a lot to everyone's day. I'm proud to be a part of the Kailu of Mill Basin. We are constantly adjusting with their growth. We made changes in our first Seder and started a Chabura second Seder, learning Sugis, Aliba de Hilchasu. In the Kailu, now we have a new Lima second Seder, Shmaitz Aliba de Hilchasu, where we get a heck of an entire Seder. I found that it elevates the Kailu to a higher level of learning. Baruch Hashem, this year I got married and I'm able to be part of the Kailo in Yeshiva. So thank you to Rosh Yeshiva and to the Rabbeim for helping me reach this point of my life. And thank you to the Kailo Yingalite for always being an inspiration for everyone in Yeshiva. You don't understand how much inspiration you give me and you give to other people for watching you come to Daven here and to learn her all the Sadarm. And I hope to be an inspiration for everyone else in Yeshiva like you were to me. The flavor of Yeshiva is very affected by its Rabbeim. The yeshiva's rebbeim are warm, they're dedicated, caring, demanding, hamidei chachamim, and pikchim. They understand the bachar, understand his needs, and understand how far they can push him. When I went there at Israel for Azman, you would think that like, when you leave yeshiva, it's like, go to the new yeshiva, that's it, it's a new thing, and the past is in the past. 
So it was a total opposite over here. Every single week, there's yeshiva, and a lot of the rabbi would make sure to call me, they'd ask me how everything is doing. I came to yeshiva almost two years ago, and I have had a tremendous growth in money. When it comes to learning, learning is very structured and the Rebbeim are very demanding. But when it comes to Menas Darim, we're very laid back and she was very laid back. And that's what makes Mulbasin Mulbasin.